Tuesday, my name is Ruben, and this is my review for James Gunn's The Suicide Squad, Suicide Squad 2, or the reboot, however you want to call it. It's out here in the UK, I got to see it, non-spoiler review, so let's jump in. Like I said, this film pretty much uh, sets up the premise as we did in the first one. We get a bunch of uh, villains that are taken by Amanda Waller, set on a mission path, and uh, <laughs> we have crazy villain characters. As you've seen the posters for, you're probably looking forward to a number of them. You've seen who's acting in them. You will definitely have those that you love more than others. And definitely for me, there are other characters and actors that outshine each other. But I do feel like James Gunn has given the key characters enough to make you invested with the film and so this is another mission as you've seen in the trailers Stario is a big part of that but there is more going on behind the scenes as you'd expect no spoilers so don't worry about that but it's seeing how these characters are kind of forced to be a team and then how they interact with each other and those outside taking a bunch of years off and forced to kind of go on a mission that could end their lives once again um, at the same time we start to see them being developed and the pacing of this film is kind of all over the place it starts off with a mass massive action sequence kind of setting you up for yeah okay and now i see what they're going to do with this film there's a lot of gore uh, a lot of swearing a lot of violence as you'd expect and then it slows down gives us a bit of exposition gives gives us a bit of uh, storyline for background stories of some of our characters and then we jump back into action and that kind of stops and starts the whole way through and it was kind of annoying me at first until we got to the climax of this film. And then um, I was like, well, wait a minute, stuff is happening to characters I really cared about. And I didn't know I cared about them as much as I thought I did um, until stuff started happening to them. And so when you get those big action sequences that you definitely should watch at a cinema. I have a great cinema here um, in my home. I have a 4K screen. Uh, projectors, a Dolby surround sound, and even then I was like, there are certain films that you need to watch in the cinema. This is one of them. Anyway, I digress. So the storyline catches you off guard because James Gunn has spent enough time developing those characters and each of those characters really seem to have come into their own. Although there are a few that we really don't know uh, that much about except that we like them, except who they are in amongst the other members. So for me, Harley Quinn outshines everybody in this film. Um, I actually feel like this was a better Harley Quinn story than The Birds of Prey was. Uh, there are moments where we get to see how her psyche is, how she's been affected, uh, what she's wanting from life with where she's at at the moment. And I just thought that was fantastic. The action sequences with her are great. They actually mean something rather than just being a generic action scene for the sake of seeing Harley do do something it moves the storyline and joins the characters in together more and that was a lot of fun and that kind of is what happens with the action throughout the action is always kind of moving the plot along not just big expo explosions and you know um, fun adventure right that this film totally is but every time you get to a, an action sequence you're like okay that went somewhere I wasn't expecting and oh that character's gone now now who am I rooting for? Because it does keep you on your toes. You, you, you're you guessing, as with uh, James Gunn's tweets, is like, can you guess who's going to survive this movie? I thought I could, and then I couldn't. Uh, it it kind of keeps on you on your toes, which I really enjoy. For the most part, you definitely can guess what the story is and where it's going to go um, as, as the arc for a whole. But towards the end, you're thinking to yourself, wait, who is actually going to survive this? There are real consequences for our villains here, and which is established right at the beginning of the film. So it kind of keeps you on edge as the action is gory and you're seeing some amazing stunts and things just continuing to happen to keep you on the edge of your seat and uh, Harley doing crazy things and uh, Shark just, uh, who is my favorite character I think in this film because I kind of want to cuddle him but I'd also be scared of him. Uh, Ratcatcher 2, who was fantastic. Weasel, you know, Sylvester Stallone, just the, the little bit here that he gets to play with I thought was fantastic. There are some favorites with James Gunn that are in this film that I think you're gonna really laugh to see how they're used. Just an all out really fun filled adventure film for adults, uh, well 15 and up here in the UK. Uh, but also has some emotional beat to it, which I really appreciated. So when you get that final climax of the, of the scene, you're going to be like, damn, I care about what's happening somewhat, but this is just a fun adventure. And that's exactly what you want from a popcorn escapism film, a fun adventure. So I'm going to give this a solid B+, plus, maybe an A-. minus. I'm still thinking about it a little bit. Let me know your thoughts below. Thanks so much for watching this, but most of all, until next time, remember, live long and Tuesday.